Today we're in the Cessna 172 Skyhawk cargo configuration at Cape High, St. Pete Clearwater Airport in Clearwater, Florida, and I'm going to show you how to adjust the sensitivity of your rudder pedals in Microsoft Flight Simulator 24 without any additional software. This makes flying most aircraft much easier, and it's essential if you fly a helicopter. This should work with any rudder pedals, but I'm using the Thrustmaster TFRP rudder pedals. These are entry-level pedals which can be purchased by themselves or as part of a combo from Thrustmaster, which includes a flight stick and throttle in addition to the pedals. Links to both of those are below in the description. If you've been using the default controller settings, you may have noticed that it's hard to keep a straight line down the runway using the rudder pedals. They're super sensitive, the slightest movement makes a big difference, and it's easy to find yourself going from side to side or even tipping the plane over. Once you're up in the air, you'll notice the same thing. It's hard to make small adjustments. The slightest movement affects the plane way too much, in my opinion. Here you can see what the rudder movement looks like versus the pedal movement. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning if I move the pedals 25, 50, or 75%, for example, the rudder's gonna move the same percentage. How can we fix this? It's easy, really. Go into the settings and click the controls tab. My Thrustmaster rudder pedals plug into the Thrustmaster throttle since they came together in a combo pack. The pedals don't show up here, but if I choose the Thrustmaster throttle, the settings for the pedals are in there too. First, we need to figure out what axis is being used for the rudder pedals. That's easy to do using the search by input button. Just click the button, and while it says scanning there to the left, slide your rudder pedals as if you were turning the plane. Okay, great. We can see that the axis we need to adjust for the Thrustmaster rudder is joystick slider Y. Next, at the bottom right of the screen, click Hardware Settings. On the left side, find joystick slider Y, or whatever your rudder axis was in the previous step, if you have different pedals. Click on it, and you'll see a check mark to indicate that it is selected. Now, go back over to the right side. Adjust the sensitivity plus and minus like this. I like minus 0.85, but you could try different settings to see what you like best. That's going to make the movement more smooth and less sensitive. The rudder will move more slowly when you move the pedals a little, and then move faster the more you slide the pedals towards the extreme. This makes slight adjustments much easier. Click Escape twice to save the settings. Here we can see the end result. If I move the pedals a little bit, the rudder doesn't move much until I get to the end of the range and then it moves a lot more. All right, let's try to take off with these new settings. Definitely. Lift off. Very nice. All right, well, hopefully that helps you out. That's how you can set the uh, rudder sensitivity here in almost said X-Plane, ah, in Microsoft Flight Simulator 24, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it.